In this video, you will learn more about surfaces and solids. Let's start by making a control point curve. Now, if you look at this particular curve in all the four views, in your top, front, right and the perspective, you can simply see a line. Now we want to convert this line into a 3D object. To start with, we want to convert it into a surface. So in the command prompt, we have a command which says extrude curve. The moment you write EX, you simply have to write EX and extrude curve appears on the screen in the command prompt. You hit enter. Now you can see over here in the front view as I drag, even the perspective view, the, the curve changes into a surface. So once you are done, you simply click. Now you want to see exactly how does the surface look. So under the perspective, I will make it into shaded. Here we have created a surface out of a simple line. Okay. Once I go to select this particular object, I get an option that do you want to select the curve or the extrusion. So if you only want to select the curve, you simply click. So you can see that the curve is at the bottom of the surface. If you click again over here and you click on extrusion, so now the extrusion has been selected. Let's try another object. So let's say this time I take a polyline. I take a odd shape polyline. I create an object. Make sure that I have joined it. Now I have selected it. Now again I go into extrude curve. I hit the enter button. Now here I have an option which says solid yes. Now for example, I am dragging it. If I say solid no and I simply release my mouse. If you go to see, it's made hollow basically. So you have multiple surfaces which are all joined. So this is basically called a poly surface because you have multiple surfaces. All of them have been joined to each other. So just for an example, if I select this, if I come up over here to explode, explode surface, now each of them have become separate surfaces. So I can simply select them. I can go into the gumball. I can simply move them. So I select this. I can again move this. I select this, I can again move this. So there you go, they have become different surfaces. I select the same curve again, I again go to extrude curve. This time I make solid yes, I simply drag it. Now this here you see that it's basically closed. Okay, so this is your solid over here. Why? Because when I was making it, I selected solid yes. Simply move this object back. I will again select the same object. I will again go into extrude curve. Now here we also have an option of both the sides. When I say both the sides, you see it's increasing from the center, both the sides. Whereas previously it was only going up vertically. So now when I click, uh, look at this object. So this is your basic solid object. Now under solid objects, we come up over here also, even these are all our solid creations. If you come up over here, we have the box which we already see in the previous tutorials. You click, create the base and define the height. In this tutorial, you've got an idea regarding a surface, regarding a poly surface. Then how do you create a surface and how do you basically convert it into a solid and about solids.